Got it, got it, got it, got it, hard body, got these world, we some mob bosses. Tune in, don't just come across. We do it all, y'all just for the talk. Might lose your mind when you hear these topics, no cap, think about it. Who you know going this hard, all real, all way, think about it. Best interview, so is this. We don't do all this, that entrepreneurship. Come and link you on a viewership. Education, relationships, businesses, view the clips. This the Midwest takeover, going over time to invent on focus. Bringing guests in from all over, whole lot of game, we don't need a closer. Got it, got it, got it, got it, hard body, got these world, we some mob bosses, turn them else to lessons, we don't do the losses, dedication daily, ain't no other options, booking up these slots on every show we plotting, pull up a chair, make sure you watch it, subscribe, get them notifications popping, pull up all the champagne, we gon' get it Man, that's not, what's that on Spotify? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was a personal one, baby. Man, you heard? What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Gotti on the Gotti's World Show, and hey, we back with another one, man. Look, check this out, man. I... Uh, got a great show today, but it's more of a, a personal show. It's more of a personal show today because uh, not only is the guest dope, uh, not only is he a, a, a dope individual, which y'all going to understand when I talked about afterwards. Um, man, I just, I just want y'all to understand that this show is is for a lot of people who have talent, a lot of sure. people who have um, businesses, a lot of black entrepreneurs, not only black, but uh, I, I want to give a light on my people who really are making changes in this city. When I say changes, big changes, differences, you know what I mean? And uh, that leads me into the quote of the day. The quote of the day I'm going with is um, changes. Changes. That's the word. That's the word for the quote of the day, changes. And that goes many different ways. When I say changes, whether it's in your life, whether it's in your um, music, whether it's in you know your, your words, whether it's in the way you look, it's it's um it's a thing and i feel like as you elevate you change and it's sometimes people are afraid of change but that what makes life life you know what i mean that's that's what it does and uh god put everybody on this earth uh not to be the same so you know when when i say we are making a change my voice is making a change. My guest voice, his music is making a change. I'm making changes personally. For sure. Me and my me me and my relationship with my wife, we're changing. And this experience, man, the experience that I had this weekend, man, just made me want to change a lot of things up. So um if you thinking about any type of change you want to make, just go ahead and do it. Like the Nike say. Just go ahead and change. That's it. You know what I mean? But uh, that is the quote of the day. Change. I am joking. I will see you there. You know what I mean? That is the quote of the day. For sure. But the guest, the guest, the guest, the guest. When I tell y'all it's personal for me, not only because of the uh, conversations that we have had, uh, not only because of uh, the music that I've experienced uh, through my ears that he he's given the world, I'm talking about Mr. I see red. I'm talking about the Airbrook baby. <laughs> I'm talking about my brother. When I say my brother, I mean that to the fullest. My brother, Spay Gucci. Yes, sir, yes, sir. How uh, you feel, bro? I feel good, bro. But first, first and foremost, I got to get this off. Right? Go ahead, get your shit off. You know what I'm saying? I get your say shit off. Free mellow. Yes, sir. Free Dre Dro. Mm -hmm. Free Eddie, free Ro Ro, bro. I still love you, bro. Free Lavelle, free White Boy. I also want to say rest in peace, Dariel, Bugs, DP, my brother Mac Fresh, Green for Mac, Duke, Marquise, Man Man, Vante, J Script, mm -hmm. Andy Hugo, Mr. Wolf, Mrs. Wolf, Mallory, Cuz, rest in peace, Cuz, Miss Peaches, TTN, Uncle Curtis, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's a long list. I'm sorry, y'all, but I got to pay my respects. 
Hey, it's my first interview I did in a while, so I want to I want to pay my respects to you. It's your right. world, bro. It's your world. This is an open space to talk. You know what I mean? Not only not only is this an open space, it's to to get your shit off, to get to know you as a person, and just the way you started that out, bro. <laughs> I gotta show love to my peoples, man. Respect, sure. big respect. But the purpose of this interview, bro, is not only for the new project, but for people to know you as a person. For sure. And I want to know you as a person. Like I said, we had small conversations, and I get the feel of you, man. A one hundred. But I appreciate that. It's more to you that I wanna, I, I, I wanna talk about. So how we gonna start this off, man? We are gonna go from the past, the present, and then we are gonna get into the future. You feel me? For sure. I'm, I'm familiar with the uh, it, it Gotti did. World podcast. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Sure. Bro, tell me where you originally from. I'm originally from. 87th and Ashland. Um, you know, my people's on the building, Ashland Towers. Okay. Um, right next to the currency exchange. It used to be a rallies, checkers, whatever right there. Um, I grew up um, going to Foster Park on 83rd and Wood. I'm familiar. Um, I also, you know, stayed in Joliet for a little while. I went to A.O. Marshall. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people going to remember me from that. Indeed, indeed. Um, but, you know, like 12 years old, my mom moved to the suburb. She moved to Dalton. 146 in Wabash. So it ain't about where you from, it's where you at. Where you Cause at. <laughs> where you at is where you from when you go somewhere else. When you so, um, when yeah. you call wherever you at, you can call it home. Yeah, for sure. Because the love that I actually just see from the people uh that give you love on IG and things like that, they show you love, bro. Even when I speak on your name, they're like, I know him. Right. Good brother. Good, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mr. Robin Hood, that's what we gonna call you. <laughs> I mean, bro, I just, That's what we gonna call you, goddammit. I just stay I stay solid, bro. I always I always had a job, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I dibbled and dabbled with what I dibbled and dabbled with, but you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like Yeah. You know, I had a kid when I was sixteen years old, you know what I'm saying? So I've been I had to take on a lot of responsibility as a shorty, but I still dibbled and dabbled in the streets. Like yeah. it's always that friend that he ain't, you know, he ain't really, he don't want to be in the shit, but if you if you call him and need him, he going to slide. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying, that was me. You know what I'm saying, I take pride in that. So, let me ask you, even with, even, let's go back just a little bit far as with, uh, with moms. Uh, what is that, how was it growing up in that household? Um, I was the oldest, so us coming from the South, I come from the South, you know what I'm saying, so mm -hmm. it, it, it was a little, you know, Southern hospitality, naive um, to what was going on in the fast city. Mm -hmm. um, it was hard, you know what I'm saying? I felt neglected a little bit because getting rebellious, mama put me out the house and, you know, it just, it made me draw to the streets, mm. you know? My pop stayed somewhere far away um, and he, he lived a totally different life than I lived. His life was slower than mine. Mm. He can't even fight. I think they had like one mur one death in his city, and it's natural cause. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And he he can't fathom the stuff that we go through here. So me and him can't relate on on a lot of levels. But do, me and my mama can. Do you um do what is that relationship with uh with your parents? Like far as with you know with moms now. You know even though you went through the turmoil with that because we all do it. Moms we always and then with that. Um. For my pops, I just grew respect, mm -hmm. you know? Um, like I said, I had a shorty at a, at a young age, so um, me and him just had a disagreement um, like a week ago. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's just you you grow up, you understand. I feel like that's God karma um, for the people who rebel against their fathers and stuff. Like, I feel like you're going to go against the everything you wanted. Man, pops, why you do this? Why you do that? I feel like you're going to go through stuff that that you didn't understand to make you understand. Indeed. And when it come down to my mama, that's my best friend. I know that uh, you didn't have to do the stuff that you did. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I graduated high school because my mom and them did American school for me. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, I I, 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 I got off track that much. You know what wow. I'm saying? I went, I went to Pace. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's me, man. I went to Pace. Uh, you know, it's just... I, my, my, I wasn't the perfect person, you feel me? And uh, well, none of us are. Yeah, so my my relationship with my pops kind of rocky, but I love him. Mm -hmm. My mama, that's my best friend. Good. That's my best friend. That's what's up. Now, as far as with uh, the siblings, 
siblings. You said you was the oldest. Yeah. So you have some under you. I got um, three little sisters, uh, two blood brothers, and one brother who we basically like blood. We we basically like blood. You feel me? Shout out Romeo Wolf. You feel me? Shout that's, out. That's, shout out. That's my blood, man. You know what I'm saying? I love you, bro. How um, are they uh, receptive to the music and you being, you making, because you are, I feel like, change. You are making that transition from who you were to who you are to who you're going to be. You know what I mean? And even within the music, from the old stuff that you put out till now, it's different. Yeah. How are they receptive to that? Um, They know me, so... They rock with it all the way. Um, shout out Murder, man. Shout Feel out, me. shout out. Corey, y'all know what's up, man. That's my little brother. That's my blood brother. Y'all know I'm coming for sure. You know how you coming for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out to my sister, Pooh Baby Money. Will familiar with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, shout she out, got it shout going out. on. I just I don't want to say they followed in my footsteps. I feel like we all had that creative. We we had that creativity. Mm-hmm. Um, but they rock with me all the way, and they support it. Dope. All the way. My sister, my biggest fan. <laughs> it ain't a spade Gucci show if my sister not there. Period. That's love. You know what I'm saying? That's my, love. My brother's security. You heard? <laughs> <laughs> just keep it all the way. Keep love around you. I'm just being honest. Yes, sir. You know yes, sir. Everybody on the payroll. How did you come up with that name, Spade? Spade Gucci? <laughs> uh, Spade came from my older cousin. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out Tori Holliman. You know what I'm saying? Uh, his name was T Spade. So I I've been rapping before that. Um going back to Foster Park days. Um, you know what I'm saying? We was old. If y'all remember, you used to put the tape on the you would play the tape and you could record it on the boom box while yes, you rapping. Sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes. We sir. used to do that and get busy. We used to skip lunch and record. You know what I'm saying? And it all started at, at, at Foster Park. But um what was the question, bro? My bad. No, basically, uh what I was saying is, how did you come up with your name? Yeah, I had to take it back. So it's, it's, it started way back then when I heard my cousin rap. You know how, I'm sorry, y'all. You know how you recite lyrics and then you understand them? Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know about other people, but when you don't know a song, when you actually learn the lyrics and you start rapping it back, that's when you like, oh, shit. Damn. Like, yeah, that I do it all cold. the time. Once you said it, it was like, that was cold. I so do it all the time. My cousin made me want to rap. His name was T-Spade. Mm-hmm. Um, if you spell my last name with my first name backwards, it kind of play out like that. And Gucci came from me wearing a Gucci hat. I walked in the crib one day. My mom was like, spade Gucci. And, you know, it stuck. And then uh, I went to my homie, Lil Mike crib. Walked in, and his mama introduced me as spade Gucci. <laughs> and his granddaddy and his, his, his grandma turned around like, spade Gucci? You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the older folks love my name. So yeah. I don't know what it, you know, some when it's catchy. It locked it's, in. You feel me? It's, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. And also, Gucci is a metaphor for being good. So, if yeah. you ever wonder how I'm doing, no no spade Gucci. Spade good. Perfect. So. That's perfect. Bro, tell me, um, I feel, from what I hear, and from what I know, me, my opinion. Okay. You next up. You're next up. I could, with, I, could, I could humbly accept that. When I say do the crib with Harvey, with you, Harvey, the sibling, mm-hmm. with everything that everybody that's coming out of there, all the creators. When I'm talking about Black the Don, I'm talking about Do Nine, I'm talking about money. I'm talking about even shout, even shout even out to all the guys, all the guys, even DDP with the photography. Shout out to my, you know what my man? boy, making major moves, major major moves. How do you feel about your placement coming out of the coming out of Sib with all these creators coming out out of the same place? I mean, I, I honestly I feel like it's overdue. Mm. So like everybody had they turned on Sib except for me, but um I respect everybody before me and who in the current. Um, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I just feel like timing is everything and and this guy's timing for me. You know what I'm saying? I see red. 
the EP out right now. Go grab that. Hey, everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> now, do you intend, because I don't know where you stay now, but do you intend to stay there? Because as you know, um, in the land period, hate can get to you. Honestly, hate can get to you, or it can be um, fake love can get to you, but or it can be both. Do you attend to stay? In my heart of hearts, I feel like um, it's more love and I rather than hate. So you think? I think so. Shit, mm. Jesus, Jesus knew everybody was gonna change on him at the table, and he still kept doing what he was doing. So. You know, you kind of know what you what the table you put yourself at. I know. I know what I'm doing. You feel me? And I ain't going nowhere, bro. I, I stand out love. I stand on respect. And mm -hmm. I feel like it's a lot of people that feel like me, bro. So, like, it's like um, a man seeing a nigga beat on a woman for no reason. Like, you, a man going to stand up and be like, come on, bro, chill out. You what know? you doing? Yes, sir. And I, I feel like it's the same thing for me, bro. Like, I know a lot of people. On, on the fact I'm going to step on my own. And I got people that's going to step behind me. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I, I just preach peace, bro. Yeah. I preach peace. And I'm, I move with God, so. Indeed. Shit, if it's my time to go, I'm going to go. But, you know what I mean? So, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to just keep going, bro. I'm going to keep showing love. I'm going to keep un uh, trying to unify this shit. I want the city finna open back up. I want mm -hmm. Sibley to be so lit that the kids want to come outside and see this shit. You feel me? We, yeah. we go visit us. I'm sorry. We go visit other cities um, because of what we see online and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So, even in um, we could, let's bring this shit back to the sip. <laughs> even in your uh, on I see red, uh, Miami vibes. Yeah, you say, man. Regardless, we got water. We got beaches. We got boats too. Instead of oceans, we got lake shore, dry top down, windows down, sun on the sunny side. You hear me like Yeah You know what I'm saying Like we got water We got beaches We got boats too bro What the fuck is we going out of town for Going to Miami You know what I'm saying But I also love that everybody experienced that Because now we understand What we got at home mm -hmm. You feel me I'm trying to bring this shit home bro Like That's that's the goal Not to put no negativity In the air Because I'm all about the love for I'm sure. all about the love bro For sure But As you can see They just took another one of our brothers. I was gonna say that I want to say, um, rest in peace to D thing. Yes. Um, you know what I'm saying. My heart go out to Lil Dirk, bro. Like, I don't, I don't care if you is op or whatever you is. Like, shorty keep losing people, bro. And if you a human being, they gonna make bro go help. crazy, man. And you just can't help but feel for that. And that's what I'm saying, bro. So, do you feel that what type of boom? What type of changes do you want to make? With your voice. Um, I mean, bro, the biggest change is I just want to bring fun back, bro. We in the burbs. Mm -hmm. um, we not in the city. A lot of niggas in the city ain't don't even go out from they little blocks of conference. You know what I'm saying? Because they beefing with a nigga a couple blocks over. It's niggas who ain't been downtown. It's I niggas know. who ain't been to the burbs, bro. I know. You hear what I'm saying? I know. I know. So, I know. Um, my, my whole thing is to bring the love back, bro. I, w once I make people understand that it makes sense for everybody then we gone like when i mentioned dream jewelers or dress to impress or joe willie's in the song or thornton you know what i'm saying like thornton you, you mentioned thornton in the, i'm just come saying on, though, like thornton ain't gonna make us no money i mentioned shit that's gonna make us money like when you when you come into the city whether you take the 94 or the 57 bro you have to pass up 147th and sibley boulevard mm. so once these people once these tourists start coming into the city or you can't ride in old block bro you can't ride through Inglewood. You can't ride through St. Lawrence. You can't ride through them neighborhoods, bro. Like, but you can without ride getting, down the city. But you can ride through the city. You can ride down the city. I ain't saying that it's 100% safe, but you can ride through the city. Like, man, let's see what these niggas rapping about. And you're going to see them niggas that's rapping. You feel me? Like, they might bump in the Gotti world. You feel me? <laughs> yes, you they will. What I'm saying? So, yes, they but, will. Cal I'm, City, I'm down the street. I'm trying to preach peace. Like, yeah. I don't want that violence and shit in the burbs, cuz that's, that's not how I'm moving, bro. That's not. You know, the old head's gonna get gonna get old and it's gonna be some new homies to step in place. Yeah. And I'm not I'm not going for that, bro. I want I want violence. I want my kids to be able to go outside and play, jump rope and live the life that we lived and the ones before us, bro. 
Indeed. If we keep letting people run over us and do this, it's going to be whatever. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? What is your personal... I, I got my personal reason why I love Sibley and in Cal City. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that was my childhood, period. You know what I mean? What is your personal connection and your love for the Sib? <laughs> it's the Sib, bro. Stay lying and Dixie. Real niggas get with me, man. It's the Sib, bro. I, I've been on every end of Sib, bro. I stayed in Dalton, Riverdale. I stayed in Cal City. You know what I'm saying? The Ginger Ridge apartments right behind Popeyes. Yeah. Ha! Ah, ha! Ah. Bro, I've I, I been around. Like, I really, I live in Harvey now. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I, I I love where we come from and what we capable of doing because I've been, I'm a hustler, bro. I done been in different cities. I done been in small cities. I done mm. been in big cities. Mm-hmm. And I just, I just see the um, capabilities that Sibley have, bro. And for branding you, branding me, yes, branding, sir. you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, we bring money to the, we if we make Sibley a tourist attraction, you see what I'm saying? Even uh, shout out to my girl Kobe too, Kobe Chapman. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Alderman, a okay. woman. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Somebody, change, right? bro. Trying to make change, bro. So, yeah. like, shout I, out to the Chapmans, man. For yes, sure. yes, yes, indeed. Um, I see red. Let's get into that. Let's get into the music. <laughs> what's the purpose between? I, uh, I mean, what's the um, title? Why did you come up with I See Red? Um, Because everybody on some blue shit. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm, jo- nah, I'm joking. <laughs> everybody on that crib shit, you know, the big crib shit. But um, I See Red, man. Red, red means a lot. Um, red means change. Mm. Red means passion. Mm. Red means love. Red means anger. Yes, um, it is. Love, I mean, um, you know, red means multiple things. So in in the moment of making this project, I felt all of those emotions. So I see red, bro. I mean, you know. I feel that. I see red. I feel that. Matter of fact, while we get into that, let's go ahead and listen to some of that. Let's go ahead and listen to this. So I can't wait till they start asking me, you from Sibley? Yeah. I'm tired of hearing all that 63rd shit. We from the burbs, bitch. Don't come around here capping on my shit. We know you heard shit solidified. County even know about the seal. And Atlanta, it's a way to cash it. Say he off the seal. Look, we lit. Look, we lit. I ain't with the modest shit. I came here to pop my shit. I don't do the politics. Walk on seven shopping shit. My shorty shakes be chopping shit. Known to turn straights in the striker. So it's best you watch it with me. Brooklyn P Street, baby, no boys to stay for me. Everybody had they turn on the sieve except for me. Say you from Chicago, 63rd, what they start asking. I won't stop until they mention Sibley in that same bracket. I'm a problem. Plus, they know that I'm the hardest. Been plugged in. You could ask my bro DJ or Mars. I've been killing shit since 2010. I made 20 bands in like 30 days. Dose, Blue X6 and Dalton Park, get my roll on. I come from the era, run your pockets, I get stolen. All you shorties with pipes don't know about that, man. Boy. Facts. Facts. Boy. Come on now. Man, man. man. Come on now. Man. Yeah. And since you played that, I want to clear some up, man. Respectfully. Respectfully, man. Respectfully. I love my city. I love Chicago. That was no way, shape, or form. A diss to 63rd. Um, all I said, if you ever been out of town, um, you tell somebody you from Chicago, they always hit you with that corny ass shit. Oh, bitch, I'm not from 63rd. Yeah, I mean, Don't nobody want to hear that shut shit. Up, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> So whether you from 87, 45th, 127th, like, you tired of hearing all that 63rd shit, bro. It's other blocks in Chicago than that. So, Indeed. I love y'all. Inglewood, what's up, man? Uh, no, no smoke, man. I love y'all. Real quick, what is the what is the results that you want from I See Red the project? Um, I mean, I I really do music because I love it, bro, mm-hmm. and I, I I don't do it for nothing no more than that. Um, I really I release music for myself, not for y'all. Hmm. Um, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I have something to say. I I, I drop a project. You feel me? I don't, I don't really do it in nothing to expect nothing in return. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
It's love. Um, so, but what what I wanted from this was my respect, bro. Like, you know, being a rapper coming up, um, when I was first rapping, it was corny to be a rapper. You feel me? Like, my, my friends used to clown me. Like, nigga, oh, you just a rapper. You know what I'm saying? And then once I started rapping, it was like, oh, man, you fabricating shit. You lying. You know what I'm saying? So I can honestly say what well, I see red, I ain't capped in the bar. How you keep a cap on, but ain't capped yet. And, and for everybody who be clowning my green hat, man. <laughs> um, green for Mac, man. You feel me? My, my homie got shot in front of his daughter. Oh, okay. Sibley. It's the reason Harvey. behind it. That's why I fell back off Sibley for a while, you know. It, I, I, it hurt my heart, bro. Like, But green for Mac. And y'all could keep clowning my hat. I'm going to keep wearing it. And the unicorn is because... Like ESTG said, I'm a I'm a street nigga who rap about what he really did. Yeah, different. I ain't capping in this shit. I'm on back. He got Bay over there. You know, coming over there support. Oh Matter yeah, fact. I, I want to shout out to my kids too. Shout I want to shout out Davion, my son. He he just became a Valley Victorian. He's a he's an African American <laughs> Valley Valley Victorian. Shout out to my boy. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, and um, shout out to my son Trey. Proud and, father. And, and my baby Delia, you know, and you know what you know what you know. Proud father. For sure. Yeah. Matter of fact, let, let's get it. Let's let's jump out of the music for a quick second. What type of dad would would your kids say you are? <laughs> what would they say? Um, I, w- I would say I'm the cool dad, man. We pulling up on foes. <laughs> we popping up with that <laughs> shit on us. Chains on, you know what I'm saying? We you know what I mean? Like I said, I, I, his his mama look young, you know. He got the cool, hot mom. You know what I'm saying? So, I think we some cool parents. Um, Dope. I, I could be more strict, but um, shit, I was. It's I, your I, babies. I, I became a father at a young age, bro. I'm still, I'm still figuring it out. You know what I'm saying? The man, the man you were, with 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 the kid, well, the the teenager you were with the kid, to the man you are now with children. What's that difference? Um, I know it's growth, but what type of growth? In what ways? It's really the same, bro. Like, I just, um, you know, with your first baby, you more stagnant. Second baby, you grow. Mm-hmm. Third baby, you holding the baby with one hand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, uh, each kid just, you know, just taught me how to be a better parent. Um I love the I love the personalities, um, and more than anything, I love the unconditional love, man. Mm. I could be broke without a dollar in my pocket. I ain't cut my hand six months, and my daughter gonna still love me to death. You know what I'm saying? My kids gonna still think I'm the coolest nigga on earth, man. You know that that's what keep me going in the end of the day. Facts for sure. Facts, 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 facts. Now. Uh, I, I seen your daughter come in on your your joint too. Man, that, you know, man, I, I, I see you say my, this mean the most coming from you. So that's you, you know my, where I'm coming from, bro. That's my oldest, Mariah. Shout out to my baby, Mariah, man. That's Shout my out first, uh, bro. For her to look at me and say, "I got on my daddy merch. I got on my um, I got on my daddy merch at school. Or you, uh, my daddy is famous on you know on YouTube and things like yes. that, bro." He is. Bro, that's a different type of feeling when your kids look at you. Yeah. And they say, my daddy is this. Because you know it's pure, Woo! man. It ain't no hate, though. It's pure. Pure. It's pure love, man. Boy, boy, you just made me smile. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> man, bro, I'll be, I'll be paying it. I'm a student, bro. Yes, sir. I'm a student. I want to say to the rappers, too, bro. Y'all, you know, you doing your thing, bro. Rock with me, bro. I ain't. If you out here, I'm, I, I probably heard of you. <clears throat> a lot of people bump into me and. Expect me to be a certain type of way and then end up getting to know me and see I'm cool, bro. Like, I came from nothing, bro. This shit don't. This this local fame and all that shit don't mean nothing to me, bro. Like, you ain't the first person that said that. You know? You ain't the first person that said that. And, I, I, and I'm getting it because just to be personal with you right now, um, as my stock, I would say, is rising. Sure. You know what I mean? And I get in tune, man. I get this confusion of. Who's here for the love and who's here for the access? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I get that confused. So I would ask you, with you being in the in the light now, and even just just being 
in the light period. How how do you how you deciphering? How you balancing that? Man, honestly, bro, you just gotta know what you're dealing with. DMX said something um, in his interview with Drink Champs. He said, uh, "Expect people to be themselves." You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's what I do, bro. Right now, in the beginning phase, I I know people. I do everything for a reaction. You know what I'm saying? So, if such and such jumped in my DM after I did this, I was I was expected. You know, I expected them to do that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, I I don't. I just I move off pure love, bro. Yeah. Period. I I know everybody intentions ain't. We, if you focus on that, bro, you gonna that's too much energy. Too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm into manifesting affirmations, yeah. stuff like that. You feel me? I'm I'm gonna I'm talk the positive out of bad situation. You feel me? So, you know, shit. You know, people to use and you. You know, people wanna. You see your friends, then wanna believe in you, and then when you got something popping, they wanna jump on the bandwagon. Is you gonna be mad, bro? And, Hmm. Or is you just, you know, I, I expected you, you to expected do that. that. And lottery ticket, Bow Wow didn't change. Lottery ticket, the movie, by the way. Yeah. Bow Wow didn't change. It was, if the, the concept of the movie was everybody around, around him changed. Yes. So yes. once you grasp that concept, bro, you you know how to move, man. That's a fact. No. What are, um, you know what? I want to get into uh, a personal thing right quick. Me and when me, you had that conversation, we talked. Even if it's for uh, a few minutes, bro, you said you take care of a lot of people. For sure. And I, I it stuck with me because I'm I'm sitting there, and that's not the first time I heard that from somebody. And I was just like, why do you feel other than kids and family members, which is actually kind of limited too? Why do you feel like you gotta take care or take on this big burden? Um. Any man could feed his own mouth, but it take a king to feed a village or you know his team. Um, it's easy. It's easy to get out here and do that shit by yourself, bro, and say fuck niggas and I ain't fucking with niggas. That's the easiest route, bro. Anybody could go out here and get some money by themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's different when you want to see all your other people in position. And I mean, just like um, me, me personally, the biggest goal for me was um, reaching in my bag and. Really getting to it and staying the same. That that was the biggest goal to myself. Like, um, and, and it, it could sound dumb. You know how your peoples will feel like, oh, he got money, he changed, he did this, he did that. Like, yeah. my biggest goal was staying the same, man. I proved that to myself. I done got some money, I stayed the, ch stayed the same, bro. Like, we can't keep thinking about people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we, we ain't gonna get nowhere. <laughs> the lady right. told me at the beginning of this year, you have to learn to accept what you can't control. That's and I can't control I can't control somebody else's reactions, but mm -hmm. I can control mine. So, what's, what's that's some of your daily it. struggles? Um, day to day, trying to be a better person. That's that's the biggest and daily struggle. Um, transitioning from the streets. Uh, reprogramming reprogramming myself. Mm. Um, you know what I'm saying? Them them are, them them the biggest ones. We we so we talk to. Believe this, and yeah. as you get older, you realize none of that shit matter. Like, yeah. street credit. Nigga, you can't walk in the bank and say, I need a loan. I got the so most street, street credit, credit in the streets. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that's the biggest struggle, God. He just re reprogramming myself, bro, to, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. th this ain't right. You I feel me? I understand. It's, it's a new world. This is a new world for me. I'm not going to leave a lie because I am as much shit as I talk as much... Uh, uh, outspoken as I am, I'm to myself a lot, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't have a lot of friends. The realest you know people don't. And I stay to myself, bro. I can stay at home and watch wrestling all day. Don't answer my phone. Make sure my kids straight. Make sure my wife is okay. And I'm cool. You know what I mean? For sure. As long as I got some uh, heroes, you know what I'm saying? Or I got some crystals. Shout or some niggas or some shit man. like that. You nigga, him, I'm good. You hear him popping that shit, Chicago. You feel me? Nigga, I'm, I'm a Cal City Baby boy, sure, Cal City I heard, kid. I heard, you, I heard you throw Nikki's in there, bro. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I grew up on that. I need to load my bit, then I pull up the Nikki guy rolls. If you know, you know, man. It's the first bit to his sibling, man. But you know, <laughs> but you know, crystals was my. They oh, had my crystals, money all the time. Crystals a hit, man. A hit. You know what I'm saying? Some Would people, you tell them? Some people got in tune with that after that. Uh, the pink shit. This the crystals with a C, baby. 
This on the sale, baby. This ain't the one with the cake. We ain't, we ain't serving them White Castle burgers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout out Crystal's on the sale, baby. Y'all gonna end up paying me for this promotion, bro. I'm trying to tell you. They gonna pay me, bro. When, once they once they hear me and they find it. me, they gonna so give good. us. You you leave it to me. They gonna give us all a bag. Bag, it's on. Yeah, it's on. I trust you. I trust I'm, you. I'm, I'm gonna make sure the whole Sibley get a bag respectfully. I trust you. I trust and you. And the whole city behind that, but you know what I'm saying. What um, what are some of your fears, bro? What are some of your fears? Um, my biggest fear is just letting my kids down, being a failure, and I feel like that's everybody fear. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, no different than nobody else, bro. Being a failure. If I if I wake up today and fail, um, like I feel like I I failed you, let you down. Mm. We supposed, to, you know. You my, said my, my lady will tell you that. You said you know that. what I'm saying. I, I, I feel like I let you down, bro. I don't I don't like failing. I don't like losing. You, you know said, what I'm saying. You said that, bro. And and honestly, when you said that, it didn't register. And I'm just like, for him to look at me in that light, it spoke volumes to me, and it gave me energy. Behind that, and Bro, I'm just sitting there at, like, look at, damn, look at, look at okay. where you at, yo. Hey, pause for a second, pause. <laughs> Peep this shit, man. Look where you at, man. It's a lot. of Evian Studios, Evian Radio, one of the biggest records from Juice World was produced here. Like, it's nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, a lot of people ask me to do stuff, bro, and they try to throw money in my face, and I feel like it's the biggest disrespect to me mm-hmm. because your money, basically, you saying fuck me. I could, I could buy you. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I, money, m- m- we need money. We need money. You can't buy me, bro. You can't move me but off a of dollar. That's why I told you on the phone, it ain't about no money, bro. For sure. I don't give a and, fuck about the and money. That's, I wanted you here. That's why when I said, bro, when you said that, I overstood you because when I when I give somebody my time and people around you will tell you that, like, when, when my homies catch a downtime with me, some of them will walk up and start rapping to me like, Spade, I got this song. I got... But they they value my time. Mm-hmm. Like, man, I, I saw you had a down moment, bro. I wanted you to hear this. You know what I'm saying? Because they know I got stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I value your time, bro. That's something that you can't get back. And like I told you, it it, it could have been a, 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 a bigger plan than that. Like, I could have intervened with some guy I had planned for me the same way I slowed up the season with missing my episode. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I slowed up my own season because I was I was probably supposed to be here for a reason. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know timing is everything. For sure. Timing is everything. For and sure. things happen for a reason. I don't believe in coincidences. For sure. But things happen for like a reason. You, like you said, Gotti, when the, when the shit hit the fan, it's going to be days you you don't feel like getting up and doing this shit. Indeed. And Indeed. You, want, you want to get up and do it. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? And, and that was one of them days where I felt like, you know what I'm saying? I was going through it. I can't, I, I'm not going to get my best energy. But what if I got paid for that show? You feel me? Or I got paid, you know what I'm saying, for this appearance or it was a you you can't do that. That's business right. is business. Whether it's music, whatever. It's business is business. It's business. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. Hey. Listen to this. I want y'all to hear this. I see red. See if tax. Thirty K in thirty days. Just start putting my people through. I ain't keep a cap on, but ain't cap check. Big facts. The way the world what? moving. I'm surprised and I ain't Snapchat. The way your lady on me. I'm surprised and I ain't tap that. Damn, my dad homie me up in jail because he didn't use I ain't promoting violence, but you move on as I'm locked in. Neighbors thought we family. How we pulled up and just walked in. I don't want no drama. On my mama, I could move niggas. I'm a smooth nigga. You finesse and get in tune with us. Tune with us. Tune with us. Spade Gucci, yeah. Every nigga around me, 10 year plus, so yeah, we locked in. Beefing with my brother, shit, you thought I wasn't gonna hop in. Hey, man, this is in my city, what you thought we right wasn't gonna pop in. Me and security pop, locked in. Pop, he let us bring the mops in. Every sure. nigga around me, 10 year plus. <laughs> With my brother, shit you thought I wasn't gon' hop in Performing in my city, what you thought we wasn't gon' bop in Being security locked in, he let us bring the mops in Man, that's, that's, that's all, I see a lot of shit going on on Sibley Yes sir The Dalton Bowls, um, the entrance Yeah uh, Club play Yeah um, The league mm-hmm. Club O Yeah um, You know what I'm saying, you gotta come out this way, castaways Y'all gonna have to pay me for this real soon. Ooh, you said castaways, boy. They don't know nothing. Y'all gonna have to pay me for this, but um, you know, 
Real sip shit, bro. Indeed. Real Indeed. sip shit. What Shout is- out to Kevin. By the way, man, um, Kevin Collins. KC, the bodyguard, man. That's my bodyguard, too. <laughs> B- How did... What is, what is that? What is that process like when you making your music and you sitting down, uh, you in the studio? How is that process? What is what is your creative process? Um, I don't really sit in the studio, bro. I don't okay. really sit in the studio and, and make raps. Um, anybody who know me, I was always at work or doing something, bro. I ain't had time to. So I had to listen to beat. Yeah. They'll tell you I'll pull a napkin. I'll pull a uh, to go bag out. And write on it. I'll pull out anything I can, uh, you know what I'm saying, to write on it and make a rap. But mm-hmm. um, I, I just go off my feeling, bro. If I When I listen to a beat, if I feel it, I rap on it. So um, that's my issue with a lot of artists. Uh, they just try to throw beats on and want me to rap. Like, it don't, it don't work like that for me. Mm. If I don't feel it, it's not emotion attached to it, then I don't feel like um, it's going to come through the speakers that way. That's right. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm more into uh, quantity. Over quality, I mean quality, quality over, over quantity. quantity yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Um, no features. Yeah. Why? Uh, big flex. <laughs> <laughs> big flex. Just like that. I mean, bro. Like I said, I, I'm 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 coming for my respect. It's all love, bro. I'm mm-hmm. a silly Boulevard boss. I ain't the king of nothing, but you call me anything less than a big dog, you capping, man. Like, mm. I've been doing this shit for a while, bro. A while. How long have you actually been doing it? I've been rapping for a long time. I don't want to get no yes. I just I've, I've been rapping for a long time. Uh, a long time. Do Do you feel like you at your you at your top level right now? Or do you still got some uh No, nah, I don't feel like hit? I, don't, I don't feel like hit my ceiling yet. Um I don't think you got a ceiling. Uh, that's that's just honest. Uh, you ain't got me, no ceiling right now, bro. Me me personally, Period. me personally, I could feel the same. But man, bro, it's just like I said, bro. I rap off life and how I'm feeling. So, um, like I just told my homies, they trying to get me in the, in the studio and shit. Um, this this a Gotti World exclusive. I'm working on the um, deluxe. Oh, I, I see red deluxe. I still see red on oh. the way uh, with all the features on it. And so to answer your question, yeah, I had to flex, bro. Big flex on my own, but. The mm. deluxe gonna be major. Shout out DJ Mars, um, DJ Twenty Eight Grams. Shout out, shout World out, famous DJ. Show. DJ Ferris link with me, man, bro. Stop playing with me. Yeah, <laughs> it's all love. Ferris, you dog. better tap in. Tap in uh, with me too, guys. You know, icon, icon, Justin. Shout out to the Icon uh, brothers, man. You know, Big Sib, Big Sib Slim. You know what I'm saying? I got, the, I got the whole shout city out, coming Slim. with me on the deluxe. Mm. Um, you know, that's a that's a Gotti World exclusive. You know what I'm saying? It's about that time. For it's sure. about that time. So, uh, do you feel like um, even for the deluxe or either the next project, you gonna put some features with the with the uh, Harvey community or people that just want to collab? Or, um, I mean, like I said, uh, I I ain't really thinking about my next project right now yeah, because right now. Uh, the, the 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 deluxe not you know gonna speak for me. I got landlord. This my hopes. I got landlord on there. Shout out to my boy. Landlord, shout out. I already got Roy on there. Um, trapping and stepping. Make sure y'all go check that out, man. That shit go crazy. Yes, it does. Uh, Black the Don. Shout out, Black. Naughty from Naughty and Kane. Um, shout out. Top Money, formerly known as Fat Money. Fat Money, so. Um, you know, I, um, you know, I'm trying to get uh, Southside NHO point. Um, my dog. Bishop Birdie, what's the deal, BD? You know, I love you, boy. You know no, what I'm saying? So, no, that ain't hard. That so, ain't hard you know, to get in. I got I got a lot of shit going on, bro, for yeah. the next one. But I feel like um I had to apply that pressure, bro. I had to put that shit out here and let motherfuckers know how I'm coming. So yeah. they know I ain't playing around. Yeah, indeed. You know, respectfully. Uh, respectfully. <laughs> the the man. The man. Spade, Gucci. How would you say your lady looks at you? <laughs> what would she say about what would she say about Spade? If she even called you that, I'm pretty sure she don't. Cause my wife, she told me don't even bring that guy. Babe, shit what's, in what's my name, babe? What's my name? <laughs> 
What what my mama what my mama in law call me? Spade. 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 <laughs> this shit for real, guys. It's real. This I'm telling real. you, bro. My wife tells me, do not bring that gotti shit in the house at all. You are Irving, goddamn it. That, that is who you are. That's who I know you. That's how I met you. You can play that Gotti yeah, shit cool, look. and it's not even an act. But she just say, <laughs> leave hey, that Gotti shit. Leave that Gotti shit. At look, the if door. anything, Spade, Spade, the sweetheart, Spade Gucci is a whole nother, whole nother. That's a whole nother. If y'all familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh, that's a whole nother beast. You feel me? So, mm. I wouldn't call it an alter ego. You know, it's just mm, what what I give my energy to at the time. Yeah. Feel me? Every, I, I understand now. Everybody ain't supposed to get to know the real you. You feel me? So, some people might tell you I was an asshole. Some, you know, for the most part, people gonna tell you I was a good guy. But yeah. as I'm getting older now, you know, yeah. Some people might tell you I was this. Some people might tell you that. Some people might tell you this. You know what I'm saying? From this year, everything that's been happening, even with last year, with mm-hmm. the uh, COVID and the pandemic thing, what is something? Because everybody had to sit down and figure it out. Uh, and they had time to sit with themselves. What are some of the things that you learned about yourself? If you didn't already know. Or things you had to um, brush up on. Um, you know, you just learned to appreciate time, man. More than anything. Because COVID took money away. Um, yep. You know. So it was a blessing and a curse. Everybody was at our level. You feel me? For sure. Yeah. It wasn't no big eyes and little U's. Um, I was already a humble individual, cool down to earth dude. So it just, you know, it just you know, taught me that money ain't the most important thing in the world. That's the most. That's the most I learned from it. Mm. Cause when that got removed, bro, it was, it was pretty much still the same. <laughs> I feel like we didn't get affected by COVID. The rich people did. <laughs> um, we came up through COVID. We just weren't able to spend our money. Yeah, that's facts. Restaurants and shit was closed. But if it was open, black people would have been out spending that PPP money. Yeah, <laughs> them loans, SBA loan money. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, that's why they went out of town and did it. Facts. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? So. Indeed. So, what type of, what type of, um, how do you feel like you can outdo yourself with this deluxe, personally? Because the shit that you spitting on, I see red, is that shit is clear as day. So how can you feel? How do you feel like you gonna outdo yourself on this? Like I said, bro, I pretty much do everything for a reaction. Uh, do you have them battles with yourself? That's my key. Like, how can I do myself? Yeah. Nah, man, I don't never worry about it. When I when I when I step into the booth, I got something to say. Gotcha. You feel me? Like, gotcha. I know it's always gonna be a level up. Like, I got something to say. I don't just even in real life, bro. I don't talk for no reason. You hear me? Like, when mm-hmm. I talk, I got something to say. So it's the same thing with rap. When I talk, yeah. I got something to say. So. And then after that, you leave it at that? I leave it at that. I don't, I don't redo him. music. I don't do nothing. I just, you know, I go in there, do what I got to do and go. This shit is bigger than rap to you, ain't it? The, the rap is the small thing. That's that's something. I know this God given. Shit just come to my, shit run like water. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If it's a beat on, you give me an idea, a concept, it'll run like water. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But... Understanding the business, I know the music is the last percent. You feel me? I argue with people about this shit all the time about statistics and shit with my Instagram and this shit a business to me, cuz I don't know what y'all do it for, but this a business to me. Talk to him. You know what I'm saying? So Talk to him. Y'all do this shit for fun and you want local I'm, I'm I'm going bigger than that, bro. I did that, bro. I opened up for niggas, I done did this, I done did that, bro. I'm it's bigger. I'm trying to build a brand. I want my goal is to Attract somebody with some money. Somebody with some money gonna see how I'm moving mm-hmm. and be like, "This nigga understand the business." And I'm gone. And to then, you know, I'm you know I'm gonna keep all my money into myself. But yeah. yeah, I do everything for a reaction, bro. Mm. Everything for a reaction. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I heard that. Now speaking, even with the business, do you have um, do you have an idea as far as with indie? You want to stay indie, but you want to, you know, say another record label. You want to make your own record label. You want to, you want to take a deal. Um, I would sign. It just, it just had to make sense for me. I'm not gonna be no rapper who's saying I want to sign no deal. I would sign. It just had to make sense. Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, I'm smart, bro. I, I understand that the game is set up for us to win. So, 
if I put my song on United Masters and um, let's just say Bro Will or somebody put me on a decent platform yeah. in front of 10,000 people and they love the song and go listen to it, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting paid off that. That residual, that's how people getting paid off music. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So by the time I feel like a, a label recognize what I got going on, I'm already be making money off music. That's a fact. So they have to make it make sense to me. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? Like Indeed. Yeah, but no, nah, I'm I'm not shying away from a deal at all. I'm very business savvy. You know what I'm saying? So I don't need nobody to look over my contracts. I can read them myself. I got two eyes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you, I got two eyes. You know how to Google. Sense. You know how you know to do saying? all that. All these little fancy ass so, words. Exactly. You, you know the fancy verbiage that they use. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't really. I'm not, I'm not really concerned. They the label who have to come with they a game. I think I'll throw them off. Hey, my because man, you know your shit. shit. Because people nigga. say they people say they know that. They know that. I, 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 yeah, I'm handling my business. But even when I say, okay, well, send me this. Send me this. Make sure you're, ooh, is this, you got your shit copy ready? You got, you got your logo trademark? You got this? All right, well, give me a minute. Let me figure it out. I'm like, right, I, I, I want to say, doing? bro, my, my shit not 100%. I do, a lot of, I do a lot of ghetto copywriting. I'm, I'm going to be a buck with y'all. But in the end of the day, it's still work, bro. It's a new game, bro. This ain't Motown back in the day. It's a new game, cuz. Mm -hmm. If you was to go, you try to steal my name, you Google me, I cut that shit hold up in court, cuz. You hear me? <laughs> you can't, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm 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 a real new era. I'm I'm the shit Nip was warning niggas about. You hear me? Like, I'm on that type of time. You feel me? You dangerous, boy. Stay dangerous. You dangerous. Stay dangerous. Let's, Let's go and get into this right quick. I'ma go in like a light song. These niggas you the step. Step. Man. Shout out DJ These Rams. niggas think it's chicken ass. Whips got blicky cash. Yeah, this car turned into the steam. I ain't giving this rental back. I was in the stew with no rent. We was on some rap shit. I slipped up with my nigga bro. We both be on some trap shit. I done seen my nigga take a bow and do it. I done seen my nigga take a load and do some Jesse White, whip like Jiffy Mix with a block of ice. I just might remix your shit like it's dirty Sprite. I might just touch down today and take off tonight. I might just step on your shit if the price ain't right. How you gon' trap with the trapper? How you gon' step with the steps? Yeah. How you gon' trap with the trapper? How you gon' step with the steps? Trapping and trapping and trapping, stepping and stepping and stepping. Trapping and trapping and trapping, stepping and stepping and stepping. I'm stepping and trapping. How you go trap with the trappers? How you go step with the steppers? How you go trap with the trappers? How you go step with the steppers? Trapping and trapping and trapping, stepping and stepping and stepping. I'm trapping and stepping. Yeah, trapping and trapping and trapping, stepping and stepping and stepping. Trapping and stepping, trapping and stepping, trapping and stepping. They turn me on, got an erection. I'm campaigning, that's an election. I brought an F and N, that's for protection. Tunnel vision. Yeah, it's in my direction. Just call the pack and it's no interception. This nigga go hard, bro. That's my boy. Shout out. This bro. go hard, Shout boy. Out Red, I see boy. Red the out right now. Boy. Make sure y'all go grab that shit, man. For sure. Everywhere. Everywhere. For sure. Man, let me uh when it's all over. When it's all over, and you land in that bed next to wifey, and you look up. And you, before you get ready to close, before, when you close your eyes and you talk to God and you say, man, all right, I'm ready to go. What does that end game look like for you? What you mean? Like end of the night or the end no, no. game? Just the when victory it's, lap. The victory lap. When it's time to go. When God say, man, it's going to be your time. Close your eyes and you, you'll feel it. Because what I've known when DMX, when Swiss said, he said, X told me. X told me. X told me this was going to be my last one. And he said it was some power behind them words. So when you ready to go, well, when it's your time to get ready to go, bro, and you look up and you said, I'm, I, I, I did my job. What is that? What What is that in game look like for your life? Um, making sure all my people in position. I'm I'm a, I'm a real boss, bro. 
Like you I, care, I, I, I hold. You care, bro. You um, care. I hold. I'm. I hold. I hold my. I didn't do it before. Um, as much as I should, but I hold my people's accountable. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the nigga that's gonna beef with you. My my, my brother dropped out of my older brother. Um, he and my blood brother, but blood ain't gonna make us no closer. He he dropped out of high school, and he went to CVS. And I told him I wasn't gonna be his friend, bro. If he ain't gonna get his GED. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm that type of friend, bro. You care on a different level. Bro. You feel me? Like, you care. It's on just, you know what I'm saying? It's when you do something wrong, everybody here to point the finger in your face. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm the friend that's, I ain't here to point the finger. Ever. Everybody there to tell you, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, if everybody else doing that shit, I don't want to be another person rubbing that shit in your face. You know what I'm saying? I want to help you figure it out. Mm -hmm. I'm the friend that you tell your business to that's going to help you figure it out. I'm not going to sit right here and end the conversation like, oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to help you figure this shit out. Who takes care of you when shit gets too rough? When you want to unload your mind, when it gets too when it gets too heavy for you, who's the go-to go-to? I had to say it's, it's to God. Can't you, you know God ain't gonna tell your problems. He ain't, gonna, he ain't gonna misinterpret your words to your friends. But um, other than that, my lady though, mm. you know what I'm saying? I feel like my lady and a lady mm. um is more solid than ten niggas, bro. Just gonna be honest with you. You get locked up, you get in the jam. You know what I'm saying? Like if you got some solid homies, you got some solid homies. I'm I'm not trying to take from that at all. Yeah. But um, one lady solid than than ten homies, bro. She a she will take her last and put it into your dream, because she believe in what you saying. She believe in you. You know what I'm saying? Your homies ain't gonna do that. Mm -hmm. So, them times where I have crashed and burned and you know broke down, my lady was there. Mm -hmm. That's that's my partner. She held me down. I respect. It. I respect it. for sure. Now, I don't know if you know that sound. But that sound is called the 10 Name Game. Okay, okay. The 10 Name Game. I know you know. It's basically I'm going to fire off 10 things or 10 names. And you got to give me your answer in a one-word answer. The first thing that pop in your mind. So say if I say music, you say love. Boom. That's it. That's how it go. Okay. That's how it go. But we're going to do it a little different. We're going to do it a little different. You ready? And I think when, once you catch the concept, you're going to understand what I'm saying. First one, respectfully. <laughs> Sibly. Sib ties. Respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you back. Reintroduction. Mm. Pop your shit. Facts. Miami vibes. Mm. Miami, Shyami. <laughs> <laughs> Shyami. <laughs> Clubhouse. Mm. <laughs> that can go many different ways, brother. <laughs> Amazing. Trap and step. Man, you give me, God, I can't just these. You telling me one word? One a word? Hit. A hit? A hit? <laughs> a hit. <laughs> I take that. I take that. I take that. I take that. Now, let me jump out. Your babies. Everything. Sibley. <laughs> One word, bro. <laughs> it's hard, ain't it? <laughs> Sibley. Sibley. That's just what it is. Sibley is Sibley. It's just they, Sibley. They understand. So. They understand. One last one. One last one. Your life. 
one word. If you could put that in one word, what would your life be? Purposeful. I agree with that. Got a purpose. Can I lose or draw me? I got a purpose. I respect. I respect it. Clap it up! 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 <laughs> Bruh, you are a class act. I respect it. I respect everything that you're doing. We got to have more conversations. I want to, whatever I can do, whatever my talent, purpose, wherever God takes me, you got, you, you got the, you got, you got it, bro. I want to say this before I get up out of here, man. I love my city, man. Mm. I ain't scared of, I'm not scared of my people. I'm not scared of black people. Um, you know, y'all, we, we, I don't know if you know, but Chicago is on a negative plate. Look the shit up. It's a fact. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you come to this bitch, it just seems so negative. You know what I'm saying? But um, we, we got to stick together, bro. And I'm, my mission started with the suburbs. I want to bring life back to this bitch. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I want to I wanna hold it down, man, because all that violence ain't about nothing. But I also need the city behind what I'm doing because when you go to Atlanta, bro, it don't matter if you from College Park, Decatur, um, East Point, um, it don't matter where you from in Atlanta, they all rep Atlanta. So why when it come to Chicago, I got to argue with you because I'm from the Burbs. When we are from the same place in the end of the day. Hmm. So hmm. Um, my challenge as a man to the city and the difference between me and a lot of people, I stand firm on what I what I stand on, bro. Like win, lose, or draw. You know what I'm saying? So um my challenge to y'all, bro, is let's get money, bro. Let's let's um I I, I can't change the city, I can't stop no wars, I can't stop no beefs. Um that shit deep. Yeah. That shit run deep. Um, but what I can do is control what I can control. And um, that's link up with some honorable men in the burps. And um, let, let's start there, bro, and change the city. They already kicking us out the city anyway. Hmm. They moving all y'all motherfuckers to the burbs anyway. Hmm. So, um, you know, let's not bring that shit here. Message. Um, let's let's change shit. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Man. For sure. Boy. You that one. It's a lot of us, bro. We just got to come together. Um, I don't know everybody on, on 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 these type of levels, but what I can say is you that one. More more than the music, I want y'all to go check my music out. Um, but more than the music, man, I want y'all to like the person. Yes. Um, once you like the person, everything else sell itself. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm being raw with y'all, bro. I'm being real. You feel me? It's the same person. You, can, you come on Sibley, you from out of town, you, you going to see me, bro. You feel me? <laughs> You gonna see Float. me in big blue floating through Float. this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I love my people, man. I love black people, bro. I love y'all. Robin Hood. Robin I said Hood, it. man. I said it first. Robin Hood, bro. Robin Hood, man. Y'all know why I'm Robin Hood. <laughs> I robbed the rich and gave to the poor, man. And uh, I made sure all my people were straight, too. I ain't, I ain't do y'all the dirty way. We all good, you know. I appreciate you, bro. I for appreciate sure. your I appreciate time. you for the platform, man. I appreciate your words. I appreciate your energy. I appreciate... I, I know what you mean now when you say if my energy ain't right. I get it. Some people are... Yes, you have to do it, but... Some people are energy. Bro, and this, that's you, bro. This, this, that's you, all, bro. We all alike. You know what I'm saying? So You got a big one on you, bro. Um, you got a big one on you. I pray, man. Blessings. Green Especially with man. that big ass chain, I'm done. Oh, I'm gonna man. get it. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get there. Oh, I'm gonna get there. <laughs> hey man, y'all know where y'all can find me, man. Yeah. 
Uh, official underscore Y U N G Gotti on Instagram, on Facebook, Urban Woods Jr. Also, uh, where all the interviews are, all this content go on Gotti's World Media on YouTube, my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Brother, can you please tell everybody how they can get in contact with you? You can't. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. You can't. My nigga. Um, I'm, I'm real exclusive, man, you know. He only got three posts. I don't do this shit for politics, man. I do this just for the love of the craft. Um, I rock with you. I rock with you, bro. You hit me on the ground. Y'all don't get mad at me, bro. A nigga out here living life, bro. We do more than be on Instagram and shit, so. That's a fact. Um, It'll take me a minute to get to you. Stop calling me on Instagram. (laughs) (laughs) Stop calling me on Instagram. Um, But, uh, you know, I, I, I can't stress it. Enough, man. I love back black people, man. Kings and queens, like we got to end this shit, bro. And you know, shit. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make my sacrifice for it, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking out. I know, I know, I got something heavy over me, so indeed, I'm rocking out. My brother, I appreciate you, man. It's all love from here, my boy, and beyond, bro. My boy, shout out to the gang, mama. I love you, D1 gang. Y'all know what's up. Man. Get all your shout outs out. Get them out. Get them out. Get them out. Shout out to D1, uh, DMP. Airbrook the P Street, baby. Those boys gonna stuff with me. Shout out to my little brother. I love you. Shout out to my sisters. I love you. I love all y'all, my kids. I love y'all. Y'all know what I do this for. Delia, I love you, baby. When you hear this, um, my future love, baby, that's on the way. I love you too, baby. Like, hey. It's going down, guy. <laughs> Envion Studios, this is the home. How I want to end it, like I always do. Thank you, God, for another episode. Thank you, God, for this beautiful for sure. brother. For Thank sure. you, God, for this beautiful queen on the side. Thank you, God, for my engineer, Big Jake. I appreciate you for everything that you do. Also, uh, Avion Studios, this is the home. This is where shit gets started, man. This is where everything pop. And rip it. Rip it. <laughs> Never changed on this. Never changed on it. Rip it. <laughs> rip it. Y'all think I'm playing, boy. Wait. Y'all, the new, I'm going to get sponsorships for all type of shit. Y'all think this shit a game, man. Especially crystals. Remember that. I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> this is another one, man. Gotti's World Show, man. We out. Yeah. Gotti, 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 hard body. Gotti's World, we some mob bosses. Tune in, don't just come across. We do it all, y'all just for the talk. Might lose your mind when you hear these topics. No cap, think about it. Who you know going this hard? All real, all way, think about it. Best interview, so is this? We don't do oldest that entrepreneurship. Come and link, join the viewership. Education, relationships, businesses, view the clips. This is the Midwest takeover. Going over time to invent on focus. Then from all over, whole lot of game, we don't need a closer Got it, got it, got it, got it, hard body, got his world We some mob bosses, turn them else to lessons We don't do the losses, dedication daily Ain't no other options, booking up these lots on every show we plotting Pull up a chair, make sure you watch it Subscribe, get them notifications, pop and pull up all the champagne We gon' get it poppin'.